Good morning, Marshalls. I'm Clayton. And I'm Damian. And this is the Morning Marshall. This weekend was a busy one, so let's start off with cross country. Saturday, our cross country team hosted and competed at the MCHS Invitationals, where Ethan McCarty had the top finish for boys. Addison Lyles finished eighth out of 161 female runners. 734 different runners, ranged from elementary to high school, ran Saturday. Last Thursday, Trey Wall committed to Murray State for golf. Congratulations, Trey. The Marching Marshals traveled to Union City this Saturday and came out in 7th place out of 17 bands, 2nd place in 3A, and won 2nd place drum majors in 3A. <coughs> Great job, Marshals. Here's a snippet of, our, of their performance. This past Friday, our football team sadly lost. Despite that, we had a great turnout for homecoming and a really successful pep rally. Let's take a look at the highlights for the pep rally. Oh, we got it right there. We have a date. Oh. Holy crap. Okay. You got a date tonight, do you? Yes, I do. All right. How, from one to ten, how hot she is? Well, it's my son. Coming to the football game, but. Okay, that's yeah. not the answer we were looking for there, yeah. Mr. Brockman. But that'll yeah, work. she's not hot. He's cute. Cute kid. I'm here with Colt. Colt, do you have a homecoming date today? Yeah, I do. I do have a homecoming right. date. Who is it? Who is it? It's uh, Chloe Kramer. And did you ask first? Uh, no. She asked me. It was only like. Her out of like 300, but she's a lucky one. She's a lucky one. So, and the energy we got the pep rally in the game. How's it feeling? Just look around. It's energy's here. Energy's here. 
So yeah, governors, losers. Where are the guys? Where are they at? I don't know. I think they're all just in the bathroom or something. They're all in the bathroom doing something that we don't need to talk about right now. Well, 2,000 students, y'all couldn't find one. They're not good enough for all this. Wow. Okay. That's that's facts. This Wednesday is Blue Club Day. If you don't have a club, it's okay. Just go to your normal huddle room or assigned alternative room. Students interested in applying to GSP will be able to learn about it during lunch. You'll hear a short presentation from the GSP alumni, alumnus, Ms. Jennifer Burnham, and a special guest, Mr. Clayton. You will be excused from your classroom to attend the lunchroom and learn. The deadline to sign up is today, so go to Ms. Burnham's to register. Man, I'm hungry. What about you? I could go for a bite. Gavin, what's for lunch? Hey, I'm Gavin. What's that? Oh, it's the joke of the day. I tried to eat a clock the other day. It was really time consuming. Today for lunch, we're having buffalo or barbecue wings, carrots or celery sticks, and a strawberry cup. Saturday night, hundreds of folks showed up on campus to celebrate the Mar farmers of Marshall County through the Farm to Fork program, sponsored by Bitten Partnership. Students from the FFA Culinary Department and the Media Arts helped with the event scholar events. Scholarships were given to seniors Peyton Whiteloaf, Jamison Wells, Landon Shoup, Kate Colborn, 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 Jennifer and Macy Daughters. Good job to all involved in this year's Farm to Fork. Last Saturday, many locals, e local EMTs, firemen gathered at the School for Rescue Training. Suffocation from engulfment is a leading cause of death in the grain bin industry. So it's very important for our first responders to know how to help in these special cases. The FFA had a special opportunity to take part in these classes as well at, and they plan to collab and host their own seminar concerning farmers' suicide in the near future. In our school, we have many great programs that help out the community, especially many of our shop classes. Let's go to Ethan to interview Mr. Shane Darnell about rebuilding citizens' decks from the damage of the tornado in December. Yeah, we got in touch with, I worked very closely with the uh, AGC, West Kentucky AGC in Paducah, and Joel Kreider, who is over the education part of the AGC, um, he, got, he contacted me because he knows I like to take my students on, on projects, so he contacted me and asked me if uh, I'd be interested in bringing my students to complete this deck for this, uh, for this, uh, it was actually a war veteran who lost his home in the December tornado, and so we were, we jumped at the chance, we, we really enjoyed doing stuff like that off campus, uh, because it's real world, you know. So we jumped at the chance to do it. I think I think Mr. Crowder's church supplied the materials and we went over there and spent two days and, and built the deck and got everything ready to put the roof on, on the deck for them. Seniors, today will be your last day to turn in your forms for the college road trip. Get these forms signed and turn into Miss Boone's office by the end of the day. Friday, we, we received all of our house shirts and piled onto the football field for some photos taken from the skies. Along with individual houses, we took a photo with everyone from the school, staff, and the students. Hey, I think I can see myself from here. That's all for today. Bye. Bye.